Welcome back to the show once again. Always a pleasure to see our next guest, and he always brings some friends with him as well in the canvas form. That's right. We're going to talk. Sounds kind of creepy, doesn't John it? John Perry, Harvard High Rise, the, the name of the new collection. How oh, are you, John? I'm great. It's John, so nice to see you guys. As always, now, love being here. Uh, do you feel friendly about? the paintings when they're done or is well, it sometimes like thank god it's done yeah well i mean unfortunately because i'm painting the collection right now my studio looks like you know i've been making anthrax so it's just <laughs> like it's such a hot mess it's not even funny but i'm hoping to you know get the work out and get it going and that kind of thing now but, harvard I mean, a high rise where did the idea for the collection well come I, from? I i mean it was just i'm having a love affair event with vancouver there's no question i've been painting vancouver for uh, a while now and every time i turn around what i find is i look at it, what was a building i painted a year ago suddenly has four buildings in front of it now yeah. and I live across the street from the Millennium Water and that was great inspiration as well and a friend of mine is one of the architects on it so I was painting his buildings as well right. and it just sort of became this you know bringing together the symphonic idea and and just loving painting what I'm doing now I love this one here and walking. my favorite part is the Dawn of the Dead Elvis well yeah in the middle. and this is called Harbor, uh, Harbor with Elvis which is which is great it's and beautiful. I just took all the liberties that I wanted yeah, and I put all the elements into it and there's there's the Elvis and the East Van sign I live right beside and I buy Dayton boots and a few other things. So, so it's it a little just, bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, my favorite part of this actually on first look was the plane up at the beginning. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. A lot of people like the plane and actually I was at a client the other day that was looking at the series and he goes, oh what about this one? And he goes, oh but I like that. It doesn't have a plane. I'm like, I'll put a plane it in. It doesn't have I'll a plane. I'll put a plane in. Whatever you want. I so mean, was the it's, plane an afterthought? Well no, it's just the, the, the painting didn't have, the painting that he liked didn't oh, have I an see. airplane uh, so he was like, you know, oh, so he wanted one added as a you know, you special just do bonus. What you do. Uh, how does your work usually roll out? I mean, you know, I think one of the sort of pat questions you ask an artist is, how do you know when it's done? But uh, I mean, what is the process for you usually? Well, it's, it's a funny thing. I mean, I have sort of a process in the morning, and if coffee is a crucial thing with me as well, which gets me going and, and gets me started. And I just start painting. And of course, there's this ridiculous anxiety attack that I have as I'm starting a painting. And I'm like, I'm a no-talent hack. What is it? I don't know what, what I'm is doing. it? What is it? Yeah, what is it? What is it? What is it? And then, of course, the other day, we watched uh, um, Exit Through the Gift Shop, the story of Banksy. And right. I went, yeah. I'm a no-talent hack. Right. That's all there is to it. Anybody who can put a pink elephant in the middle of a, of a gallery opening is brilliant beyond <laughs> means, uh, which I will never get in the show. But I just, you know, it, and it just sort of starts, and you just start, start now working Now, are you a one-canvas at a time painter, or do you pretty paint much, a few? Or? Pretty much. No, our studio is set up so there's a painting area, and it's defined by Can a you space. show and, that last and, picture? Because oh, yeah. this, is, this is outside of the painting area. <laughs> this is outside, outside of the painting uh, area, painting but I on love the floor. This because yeah. I, I think, uh, you know, we're fortunate <laughs> enough to... to you know, get to know some artists, and there's an intensity when you work on a canvas that you're I think you're very yeah. focused. Yeah, you yeah. just don't get in a, in a lot of venues. I and don't you think. just so suddenly there's just like almost just sort of a click. You just put that last little speck of paint on, yeah. and then it goes into a viewing area. Whereas I can watch TV and look at the painting and have that kind of thing, and a couple of little touch-ups. Right. But it just let's deep, talk about the other finished. beautiful ones that we've got in yeah. here. Uh, the one that's closest to you, Thank the Lotus sun, Building. Lotus. That's beautiful. Well, this one's really funny because this is a classic example of what a painting. I did a year ago, and then all of a sudden there's a Vancouver housing project right in front of it. <laughs> so it was just suddenly I went, oh, there's a whole new perspective the old there Vancouver as well. Sun building. And that Vancouver Sun Building is just one of my favorite buildings in Vancouver with its king crab-like yeah. copper beautiful roof. Gorgeous. But it's just being taken over by all these new, you know, chrome and glass things that are coming. You got the little tugboat and gas station over there too. Uh, that's the invitation piece, and that was the piece that set the whole the whole series off. So that was uh, that is the piece that's called Harbor to High rise and that's uh, uh, and the, the crazy thing is is um, you know it's going to be fairly quickly almost a memory of the city you know what I, I mean like all that stuff it just well that's the that's the beauty of having the love affair with Vancouver is it's always changing it's always evolving yeah. and the city that I knew growing up as a boy is is completely gone the fact that I grew up uh, in you know Shaughnessy and I could hear the nine o'clock gun mm -hmm. yeah. you can't hear the nine o'clock gun from here yeah. Uh, yeah, that's which true. is which is really something so you know it, it's it's a beautiful city and we're, we're evolving and we're changing and we're developing and we and always talk to you about your opening nights are you nervous when people People come to no, the gallery, I'm a, it's care? a blur. You it's like parties, blur. that's why. You're <laughs> like, I mean, I, what I've found is a lot of the galleries in Vancouver are closing, uh, which is terribly sad because they did dictate a great deal of influence in what was happening in the Vancouver art world. And yeah. what I loved was that the galleries in Vancouver carried Vancouver artists, which mm. I thought was so fantastic and really put us on the map of being an international place to collect from. Um, but I 
didn't have any of those galleries that wanted my work, so I just had my own exhibitions and did my own thing, and I've learned everything the hard way twice. Um, and I've just hosting my own thing. I live in a building that has a gallery space I can use anytime I want for free, yeah. so they're going to take me out of that building in a great big pine box. But it box. is something that has become <laughs> a do-it-yourself sort of thing. I, I have a lot of artists approaching me going, gee, John, how do you do this? Yeah. Because my gallery's closing or I don't have representation anymore and I've learned everything, you know, just, you know, I didn't know anything about curring or faxing or UPS or Well, I had this conversation that. with someone the other day because uh, the lease rates in, in the typical Vancouver gallery uh, you know, areas have just gone through the I'm roof. sure. I, and, so and they've sort of gone down, but it's, uh, you know, it's like the music industry, it's like our industry, yep. it's like anything else. Like, it really has gotten to that stage. Well, everything's going into that internet as well, because, yeah. and I just thought, nobody's going to buy anything off the internet, but I have clients all over the world that look at my website and go, oh, I'll take that one. Well, it's because like, you focus on Vancouver, that must be very interesting. That Do you get expats buying your works, or sure. do people just have heard of the city? Uh, all of the above. Yeah. Uh, you get people that are just interested in your work. Uh, people want a piece of the artist, which is a good thing, but I think the people have ever been in Vancouver, they want a piece of Vancouver. Yeah, well, there's uh, always, I, I mean, we've talked about this with you before a little bit, but there's a vibrancy to your work and an energy. Uh, well, I hope so. I mean, I'm, I'm only 49 years old. It's very reflective of you, though, you know? <laughs> well, I've got a pulse to my life and everything cracks me up and I've got a pretty good, you know, sick and twisted yeah. sense of humor. A little bit of whimsy. Yeah, this is true, although that Jamie guy just gave me one of his Kit Kat bars that was wasabi flavored and... Now, yeah, I, now I know what bad breath tastes yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> bad breath has a oh, flavor. Oh. And it's scene. A, it's a, in this case you're curious, you didn't see the show earlier, uh, Jamie Matthews was in uh, Japan and he brought back wasabi Kit Kats. You didn't oh. like he? That tastes not, like bad not breath. Like he, not no like, he? like he, no. So we're not no. going to see one placed in one no, of your canvases? No, we're not going to be doing that, future. that's for sure. Well, if you want to go see Harbor to High Rise, it's going to debut at the Main Space uh, Gallery April 8th to the 22nd. You can go to John's website to find out more information yeah. if you want to have a look at the pieces in And advance. John, really quickly, of course, a beautiful canvas as well, but uh, you always do really cool a book, stuff. A book uh, for the collection as well, which is really fantastic. So anybody buys a painting gets a book, which is really great, or they can just buy a book. So yeah. you can get a, and it's a got piece the of whole John collection Ferry. In it. I'll I sign want a them piece of John Ferry. That's right. Right here. We're going to take a quick break. <laughs> right here. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. <laughs>